All right, so welcome back to the channel. My name is Setson. I want to thank you for your time. Um, today, I want to show you how you can eliminate duplicates in a list in Python. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, I want to remind you to hit that subscribe button. And so without much further ado, let's jump into our tutorial. All right, so right here we have a list of groceries and you can see inside this list we have rice bread, oil beans, rice bread. So we have two duplicates, right? We have rice duplicated twice and then bread duplicated twice. And um, by the look of it, uh, this is a small list and I can manually remove the rice and the bread and then I will remain with unique values. Uh, that's the whole idea. The whole idea is to get rid of any duplicates and remain with only one of each item. However, uh, if it's more like this, it's easy. But let's say you have a thousand, um, ten thousand, hundred thousand, one million. Um, can you go through that list manually one by one, eliminating the duplicate values? That will not work. And so I want to show you a better way of doing it. We need to leverage on the power of dictionaries. So in Python, dictionaries are just um, an object like this that do have a key and also a value to that key. So in this case, this dictionary has a key called name and its value is certain, right? We cannot duplicate the keys. In case I want to duplicate this key, if I say name again, let's say four, for instance, let me try and print this dictionary and see what, what values we have. You can see down here, it says name Paul because it's the last one that I entered right here. And, and it does not recognize this because we have similar keys. And so it eliminates one of those keys. And so if, if I change this to names, you can see now we are printing both of these values. It eliminates any duplicate key. So that's what we're going to leverage on. All right, so we're going to use a method inside the dict. By the way, the dict is a built-in object in Python. So we're going to use um, a method called from keys. What this method does, it, it takes an iterable. An iterable is any object that you can iterate over. For instance, a list is an iterable, a tuple is an iterable, uh, a string is an iterable. So in this case, we have our groceries, which is our iterable. So we can pass it inside here. And we want to assign this to a variable. Let's call this a new, a new list, for instance. Let's print this new list and let's see what is inside. You can see down here what it does. It created uh, a dictionary down here, but then it assigned a value of none to these keys. So each one of these values was converted into a key. So what we're saying here with this method is we're saying use this thing to create keys in a dictionary. And that's what we're doing here. So we are creating the keys. And so keys can only be unique. You cannot have two similar keys. If you want these to be associated with some kind of a value, you can pass in an optional argument here. If I save and run, you can see down here, it says rice food, bread food, oil food, beans food. And, and by, by default, if you do not pass any value, they need to assign none. And so we have successfully um, eliminated any duplicates here whatsoever. The, the last thing we need to do is we just need to convert this into a list. If you convert a dictionary into a list, it uses the keys of that dictionaries as values to the list. So right here, we can just convert this, this thing into a list and then we have our, we have eliminated uh, those duplicates. And so by converting this into a list right here, we have successfully run this. You can see now we have uh, successfully eliminated those duplicates. I'm going to get rid of this thing down here. Okay, so now you can see we have our uh, unique values. We no longer have duplicates. So that's what you simply have to do. You pass your whatever list or uh, a tuple into uh, this thing, dict from keys, and then you convert that into a list and then you have your unique values. That's all you have to do. I hope this is helpful. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I hope to see you in our next tutorial. For now, I'm out. Bye-bye.